Hey guys, welcome to another Gaging Gadgets review video. In this video we have the Urant Wi-Fi repeater or Wi-Fi extender. So really, the reason you would like this to use this in your house is say you have a basement or an upstairs and you have bad Wi-Fi signal up there because your router is on your main floor, then you can get one of these for around $20, maybe a little bit less. Plug it into your wall and then it will extend the Wi-Fi range so that you can have good signal on the floor. So pretty cool. And as you can see, it's not that big either. This just plugs in to your wall socket. It looks like it'll take up the entire wall socket because it is large, but really not that big for what it does. So let's see. We have in the box we have the actual device. We have a Ethernet cable. And then we have some owner's manual and some instructions. So I'm going to look at these and then learn how to get it working. And I'll show you how to get it hooked up. So to kind of help people in the future, I decided that one thing I could do in this video to help is to make it a tutorial video. So I'm going to go ahead and plug the device in and I will walk you through setting up the repeater mode, which will allow you to really extend your Wi-Fi network. So it says to plug it in and then wait until you see the Wi-Fi network Wi-Fi repeater. So go ahead and wait for that to show up. Scan. Looks like it is broadcasting right now, so we should, should see it shortly. There it is, Wi-Fi repeater. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. All right, it's connected. Now we need to go to the browser. Let me make sure. Open up the browser. So, once you get the browser pulled up, you want to go to 192.168.10.1. Just type it in there like that in the address bar and then hit go. And this should bring us to the admin screen. So, we can go ahead and do that. And the password and login is just going to be admin, all lowercase. Password. So now we just select repeater. select the Wi-Fi network we want to join and then I'm going to put my security key which is just the password that you use to get on the network so that'll be what it looks like once you've entered the password incorrectly and you're good to go so as you can see the Wi-Fi icon up here is blue I'm getting a signal through the repeater hey guys so I just ran a speed test after configuring the Wi-Fi repeater and connecting to it and I have to say that I'm a little bit disappointed. I lost about 80% or 70% of my bandwidth. The download speed was, before this, closer to 20, 25, and the upload was closer to 10. And now, as you can see, download around 4, upload around 2. So while you do get that range extended, and it is kind of cool because you could use this to extend the range and then also hook up maybe a PS two or so, I don't even know, you could hook up a device that doesn't have Wi-Fi to the internet, but you are going to lose a significant amount of your bandwidth. So after having some time to use this device, I have to say that while it does take a significant amount of your bandwidth, I think if you know that going into it, that you're going to lose about 80-70% of your bandwidth, then it's not bad, it's great. The configuration was easy, extremely simple, and it worked on the first time. It also looks really cool with these blinking lights, and I like how it's convenient. You just plug it into a wall, and you're good to go. I don't like that it is too large and takes up probably about the whole socket just because this comes down. You might be able to plug something in down here, but it would depend on the device. The plastic does feel good, and I do like that you can use this to 
plug Ethernet, you plug an Ethernet cord in here and then you can plug it into a non-Wi-Fi enabled device. So like a computer that doesn't have Wi-Fi, easily just get that on the Internet by connecting the Ethernet in there and then connecting the other side into your computer. So that is a cool feature. But with the bandwidth loss, I have to say that I'm a little bit disappointed. But I would recommend it if you knew that and you just want to surf the Internet. So thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. I will get back to you. If you have any configuration or setup problems, let me know. I'll try to answer them. I'll run through the steps again with you and try to help you. Um, watch, Check out my channel. i got more reviews and some tutorials, all kinds of really cool things on gauging gadgets. And then for a more detailed write-up this review, check out gaginggadgets.com. Thank you so much for watching.